Hello and welcome to another technical video podcast. I'm your host Bryce Whitty and today I'm going to show you how to fix a handful of commonly occurring problems that cause Windows not to boot. The first commonly occurring error I'm going to cover is Windows could not start because the following file is missing or corrupt. Windows System32 config system. To bring this install from the dead, I'm going to use a boot CD called ubcd4win, which you can download from ubcd the number 4 win.com. It's a boot CD that gives you a Windows-like desktop with various computer repair tools. Once you've downloaded the ISO from ubcd4win.com, burn it to a CD and boot the computer from it. UBCD takes a little while to completely load, but once it's finished, you should see something like this. There are two ways to fix this corrupted registry problem, so I'm going to start with the easiest one first. Before I begin, we need to make sure that the hard drive itself is able to be read. UBCD has a handy interface that puts the information like this right on the desktop. In this case, it can read C and tell me that there's available space, so that's a good sign. If it couldn't, it would say something like C drive, unrecognizable, and that would indicate that there's a larger problem. Anyway, back to fixing this registry. To begin, I'm going to start by going to Start, Programs, Registry Tools, Registry Restore Wizard. This registry restore wizard is very similar to the restore point you would see inside Windows. The first step I need to do is specify which Windows installation I'd like to fix. Sometimes it has a Windows install in the list, sometimes it doesn't depending on the damage. In this case I only have the custom option and that is to edit C Windows. So I'm going to click next. This is not a valid Windows XP directory continue anyway. Yes, it thinks it's not valid because the registry is damaged. What do I want to do? I only have one option and that is to fix the registry to that of the previous state so I'm going to click next. Now I have a few options of which date I'd like to roll the registry back to. Generally I try and roll it back to the date closest to now. The reason why is because if there are any changes to the registry made after the one you select these changes will be lost. By choosing the most recent one this minimizes the loss. Once I have selected one I'm going to press next. Are you sure you want to restore the current registry to restore point 4? Yes. I need to wait a few seconds and then press finish. I found this process fixes the error mentioned before about 90% of the time. If the most recent registry version also has this problem, try the second most recent version as well. There is another way to do this and it can be done using any boot CD that has the ability to edit the system's files such as the Windows XP CD's recovery console. Since I have UBCD open, I'm going to do it here by loading up command prompt and navigating to C drive, CD Windows, System32, config. In here we can see some of the main parts that make up the Windows registry. In our case, system was corrupt so we need to replace it. Rename system to system.old by typing ren system system-old. I'm going to navigate to C Windows Repair. and list the directory and we'll see some of the same files we saw earlier. These are the backup copies and we're going to move them to the working directory that we're in just a second ago. So I'm going to type copy system to C Windows System32 config systems and press enter. This way is less desirable than the registry restore wizard I mentioned earlier because it restores part of the registry back to when Windows was first installed. Since we restored the system file, any drivers for hardware you might have added after this point may need to be installed again. To finish, reboot the computer without the boot CD and if you did it right, Windows should now boot. You can apply this process to the other registry files such as software, system and security. 
Other errors that prevent Windows from booting that I frequently come across are random blue screen and death messages. While the BSOD messages can be explained with a little bit of help from Google, such as IRQ less or not equal, often being a RAM issue, and unmountable boot device being a hard drive issue, some of them just aren't that helpful. It's often some weird stop code that few people have had before. If I come across this, there is a command that fixes many of these weird ones about 90% of the time by scanning and fixing the error. The command is chkdsk C, which is the drive letter which we would like to do the scan on. The X switch dismounts the drive. The F switch tells it to fix the errors. And the R switch, which tells it to locate bad sectors and recover any readable information and press enter. This process can take around 10 to 30 minutes depending on the size of your drive. Fast forwarding a couple minutes, I'm going to restart this computer. And power up my windows, which should be repaired. And there we have it, a working Windows. That's it for this podcast. These steps should help you get out of some of the more common and unbootable Windows problems. Thank you for watching.